gentlemen, on to our next bout of the evening. The following contest is a Thai boxing bout to be fought over three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 65 kilograms and proudly representing Titans, Kyle! Powell, again, 18 years old, coming at 60 key. It says fight experience three. I don't know what that means. I should assume he's had three at the clubs. Oh, okay. And, uh, and who's he fighting against, Scott? He's fighting Ethan Middenoff. And I believe he's had four into clubs. So it's a pretty fair matchup. But he's obviously younger. Yeah. Ethan is younger than Kyle. You know, I, I get it as you get older, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, look at Mike Tyson, I mean, he's brutal. But, uh, I mean, being younger sometimes has the advantage over the older fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Unless yeah, you're Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Well, like I said, there's not much in it, is there really? 18, 16, the weight's the same. Experience is the same. I, I, uh, I think this will be a very good fight for them. He represents the Immortals and... John Carter, John Carter, he's a um, trainer. He's a very good trainer, he's good at what he does. From the Immortals, yeah. Stroke Hammer. Is that another gym? Yeah, um, Hammer Gym, again, not familiar with it. Yeah, um, me neither. But funny because when I'm looking at, uh, at Kyle, I've seen Kyle, obviously he's with Titans. And that's John Carter, isn't it? Yes, in the, John in his Carter's his coach, yeah. 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 John Carter and uh, Aaron Whitley, who's just been in the corner for uh, for Joe. Okay. Not Joe, for Ryan. All right. But I've also seen Kyle at the Immortals training. Like, well, yeah. Like quite a lot. We, we, we've talked about it, you know, they, they, they like to mix it up a bit, which is good. They've mostly been sparred together numerous of times, but now they've got to... <laughs> yeah, get it <laughs> they've on. Got to see, they've got to see who's, who's real winner of the sparring session. Yeah. Inside the ring, animals. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Outside, gentlemen. That's how it should be. Oh, and I'm just looking over at James at the end of his fight, and he's, he's there with his dad. And he's, he's, he's happy. He's got, his, he's, got, he's got a smile on his face. You know what I mean? And he's got his trophy. And he's, He's looking on good form. He looks like he's back on good form. Yeah, yeah. He's not staggering or anything like that. And again, I'm just going to put it out there for the medical staff that we have here. They've been phenomenal. They've been right in there. They've moved the coaches out of the way and said, let us have a look quickly. You know, and like we were saying before, we know the coaches want to pick their fighters up, but sometimes the best thing is to leave them on the ground oh, yeah. until the medical staff get to see them. I believe they're trying to get a groin guard for Kyle. Um, just come down about one. What? No, no box. <laughs> no. Nope. Well, that's what we're waiting for now. Uh, you don't want to do that. Because <laughs> you couldn't really have any any kind of sympathy for not having it no, and then getting no, no. getting <laughs> whack one and going down. Good to see, um, it's good to see a crowd coming back into shows like this after you know the past few years. You know, a nice local show. Yeah. I know Ryan's put on a Ryan Max put on a show recently, but it's nice to have one in London though. Absolutely. I'm sure they'll carry it on later on in the night. Yeah, the the old kung flu really took it out of a lot yeah, of people, yeah. a lot of businesses, a lot of people suffered. You know, I think we were talking before as well. You know, mentally, physically, you know, uh, emotionally as well. Yeah. People lost their businesses. You know, their livelihoods. We we're all locked down. You know, and I was talking to my father-in-law on the way here. And I was saying, you know, for a lot of the fighters who've seen, they put on a little bit of weight. Yeah. And I said, but it's it's understandable. They go to the gym to work and sort of get rid of any demons they might have. Yeah. And yeah. then when you're left alone on your own, yeah. And like you were saying before, it's all right training at home, but it it's not the same. No. You're no. high. You get highly motivated by other individuals yeah, in the gym, yeah, of don't you? Of course you do. Of course you, know? you do. It's all. You, you, you're getting challenged every day in the gym, aren't you? It's, it's, you need that challenge. You know, and, and here's something, Scott, what a, a lot of people don't, or me, what men carry around with them, and it's con I call it a zero demon, right? 
So it's a kind of part of men's personality that say you're nothing, yeah. right? You know, women don't have that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> women will always be something, but, but men are not like that. So no. we always look, you know, to, to build things, to create things, yeah. to get have a recognition, to be the somewhere on the, the scale. Next fix. Ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, exactly. You know? The following contest is a tie. So, so, already, so, you, so I was just going to say, so you can imagine during the lockdown, how that mentally affected those guys that would go to the gym and are fighters and needed that in their lives and suddenly it was taken away. A lot of people rely on it. But like you were saying, it's good to see all these fighters coming back. We've got a packed auditorium today, you know, with lots of inspirational fighters coming up and everybody that's getting back into it. So happy days. And proudly representing the Immortals and Hammer. This is a two-minute round. Time. Meet the the One thing about Ethan, I've seen him at, at the Immortals, and he's not a big smiler, you know? I mean, you don't have to. No, you, know, no, you don't. There's, there's, there's no reason to be <laughs> smiling at everybody, you know? All you're going to do, smiling at another opponent when you're punching them, is worry them. <laughs> Kyle fighting Southpaw. He's um, standing off well. Ethan's uh, trying to look the busiest. Very good. Very, very good return. Very, nice. very good turn. Oh, round out. That's front kick. Chasing him down. Chasing him down. In comes the knees. Up the clinch now. He's a little bit scrappy there in the corner for a second. Oh, that was a nice knee. That was a nice knee. That was a very nice knee. That was right to the solar plex. Very, very good knee there. It's um, wow. a different type of pain when you get hit with one of them knees. It's, um, and that's what we were talking about before with the knees. The yeah. straight in knees, straight much in, more yeah. effective than those knees out to the side. Yeah, he's, he's come straight up. He's come weird to say come at the side with a knee but it's come straight through and it's hit him in the center oh, okay he must he must have been on an out, an out breath on that one because it's uh that's really took it out of him everything just cramping up inside with that one funny you should talk about breathing in and breathing out i remember my coach saying to me he says if i can catch your breathing he says you'll lose the fight yeah but you know? it's it's it, it, <laughs> It does, it does, it does happen, it does happen, and I believe that's what's happened there. The, the, the weight of the leg and the knee going into the solar plex, that's obviously to add to it as well, but... First. But yeah, because the majority of the time, I mean, you're breathing out is protect, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you can usually take a half decent blow, Yeah. but definitely if you're getting caught on the, on the breath... Ladies end, and gentlemen, that's there good. is your winner yeah. by knockout in the blue corner. Well, for those at home, if you've just got back from making a coffee, you've missed the fight. It's over. 